Hi guys, my name is Udo. Welcome back to another figure drawing tutorial. Today we have a seated figure, so let's see what we can do. I, as always, start with the head. I'm trying to get the gesture on the paper first. So we having this kind of pose with a strong pinch on her right hand side coming around like this and that goes here and just indicating what the, uh, the eye um, nose cross is doing call it this axis here and and we come around and we have one leg is here, one is going slightly back and the other one, her left leg is coming out fairly straight and is going back like this. Now, the arms. I'm just, as you can see, I'm trying to get um, the full figure on the paper first, trying to capture the gesture and from then I will um, start layering the drawing. I will put more and more anatomical details, maybe a little bit of tone, we will see. But this is basically my drawing process and in general it's a good idea to get all the elements, head, torso, legs, arms on the paper first and from then do you develop the drawing further. Okay, now let's move on. So we have one arm swinging here and is doing something like this. We come here and this one is foreshortened in an angle and comes here. Okay. So let me see, yeah, it looks okay-ish for a first indication, it's fine. So I'm looking for the center line now. The center line in her case is shifted to the right hand side. So I, that means I see um, almost more than two thirds of the left hand side is predominant. This side, the left hand side is predominant, that's what I wanted to say. So I'm coming down with the center line, going like this, and yeah. So now, next consideration. As always, I'm looking for the aces bone. So we have the iliac crest, the bow of the hip, and we're having a little knob here, that's the aces bone. I've been talking about this in the last. Um, tutorial and then I'm looking immediately I'm looking for the other aces bone which in her case is somewhere here and if I have those two spots then I go down to the down the pubic arc to the pubic bone and it has this it forms this um, triangle Okay, this is, for me, it's a very important landmark and from there I'm going up to the ribcage, see what the ribcage is doing and it's kind of, it's kind of a weird, a little bit weird because it's almost like she twists a little or turns a little to the right hand side, but let's see, let's see. And we have again, I mentioned it before, and don't miss, miss it because that's essential, an essential part for the pose. We have the strong compression or pinch on this side. And then we come around with the rib cage like this, going to the inside, swinging to the inside, and 
moving from the hip into um, the pelvis region and again that's the the aces bone I'm looking for and I connect it here and now I'm looking well I keep working on the ribcage so I'm thoracic arch is somewhere around here and the other one is I'm looking for this particular bone here up I should say spot or point here and this one and this is this is kind of similar to um, the one the two aces uh, knobs, call them knobs, uh, form a triangle in the in the pelvis region you have a kind of a similar situation um, at the ribcage. Okay, so we're having this and now let me quickly double check, it looks okay, it looks okay and now I'm jumping around in the drawing, I always do that you can do whatever works best for you, I'm used to kind of start somewhere and that's so my eye doesn't get arrested, I don't get stuck, I move on to um, a different body part, in this case it's the head. Okay, so I'm looking, okay, the size seems to be okay, draw a little bit of the hair, of the hair. come here, and now I'm looking for the chin, which is here I'm drawing a little heavy handed you at home guys if you draw along with me keep the drawing as light as possible and once you um, you checked the different anatomical landmarks the lines in general then you start committing not before because it's gonna get super messy and in the end well Sometimes it works, but most of the time it's better start light-handed and then you start committing. Okay, I keep repeating myself, but that leads me to another. That's a keyword, keyword and repetition. Repetition is the key to success. It's. I've been drawing. I'm going to show you at the end of the tutorial. I'm going to show you how often. I have drawn this particular pose. I will show you. Okay, so repetition. Keep in mind, repetition is the key to success. Okay, so we're having this situation here. We come down here, we come down here, and I'm indicating the neck. And from the neck, we have the trapezius swinging out, going into the shoulder and yeah so the hair comes down pretty much up to here and we have I'm just indicating where the eyes could sit this got already a little messy but well too late and There we come around and going here. Yeah, that kind of it's okay. Usually, in a, in the gesture stage of the drawing, you don't fiddle with the features of the head. That's one of my I mentioned it in the last tutorial. One of my obsessions. Maybe don't copy copy this. It's just get a simple. Um, the, the simple idea talking about the position of the head. You can indicate the cross or the axis of the eyes in comparison to the nose angle of the head but just leave it there don't you know uh, do what I'm doing start tinkering on the on the on the features of the face or the head what you want to call it you can do that later on if if everything is in position you can start adding more and more detail including the features of the head but not in this stage usually, but I always do it and I probably won't get rid of it anymore. Okay, that's the clavicles coming here. So, go here and now I'm, I'm starting with the legs. 
we having I'm just using a simple simple cylinder in the beginning it's tapered already like so maybe here indicate the knee and from there I continue with um, the lower leg calf muscle just quick indication foot like so something like this I just leave this for the moment I will get back to it and now next one we have this strong cut here as you can see on the model and then I start exactly the same procedure tapered cylinder come around here let me just double check the length I, I guess I need to correct that but I can do that later I just wanna get the information on the paper so this connection seems to be kind of okay and like so like so okay now let me have a look I see the angle of that leg is a little uh, more more horizontal than I have drawn it so I correct that and this leg needs definitely from the aces bone we go from the aces bone that nip that uh, nip knob on your pelvis you go roughly around two to three fingers down and that is where the leg starts not it's not directly connected to the aces bone it's we going down like so two three fingers like and then we start the leg coming here Okay, come around here. So I'm already committing a little too early talking about the line weight, but well, I started it. It's again too late. And I got a little long here. Come here and do something like this. Probably still a little too long, but we will see. So, this strong cut here, I don't want to miss. And we're having a little line here. like so and this line has been continued now I'm looking for the belly button which is around this area and now the external obliques the flank pads they connect to the aces bone and sometimes I prefer them not to connect completely to the aces bone because that takes away from the three-dimensionality sometimes it's better not to connect the lines to leave them open for a better three-dimensional appearance okay we come here and we go down here now I'm drawing the crutch like so and let me just double check uh, okay five minutes left okay I'm drawing the arm deltoid muscle elbow joint and lower arm like so and I'm only indicating that she's holding on to her 
uh, leaning the resting the hand on her thigh muscle so now I'm coming here I'm drawing the first breast I'm looking for the height of the breast in comparison to the rib cage nipples and this goes here and the other one is got a little high here this is more like this come around here cylinder come here biceps muscle and the lower arm swings here and I'm only indicating she's holding on to her knee on this side as well cut and now I'm just drawing pushing down this is more like this okay dropping some tone so this area becomes a little more volumetric We have we have the latissimus dorsi on this side, like so. Double checking. Okay, we have two minutes left. Come here, and now I'm drawing the other breast. And before I do that, I'm checking the height of the nipples and they more or less as I see it on the same on the same level same height okay quite a strong cut little bit of tone here and okay dogs yep yeah. And now I'm only indicating the chair. I'm, it's not my prime concern, the chair. I just want to make... Um, indicate the stool so the, uh, the pose makes sense because she, she cannot sit like this in the air. doesn't make sense. So I'm just indicating roughly what's going on here. And there is some lateral bracing here some here and, and that's enough for me okay that's good enough actually I leave the lines white so we don't get meddled up with the contour line of the thigh muscle and we coming up here swinging here And this is a strong cut in this direction come here okay mm -hmm. good so just a few touch-ups this connection here is a little too exaggerated Come here, okie dokes, like so, and Okay, so we could indicate here as well a little and drop some tone. Mm 
<laughs> and And this one needs to be a little <sighs> accentuated. Some tone here. Okay. Indicating the eyes. Where does she look? What or who does she look at? Yeah. And yeah. The hair a little better. comes here as I said before guys um, what I'm doing now is not really essential part of a of a gesture drawing you if you want to have a finished drawing in the end okay you can draw and you the hair you can draw whatever but this is just this is just um, I enjoy drawing little details when the gesture and everything is on the paper, I don't mind. But for the typology of drawing, for, the, for a quick sketch, is not really needed and sometimes I must say it's um, counterproductive. So the idea is actually is to leave out as much as possible and to draw as much as needed, line-wise, tone-wise. In that case, less is often more, and but it depends on the drawing. Okay, dogs. I guess really I. I'm just double checking if I haven't forgotten anything. But it looks okayish. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Separating the knee. This is going a little to the inside and swings out here and going there. The heel you can, yeah well you can see it a little but like so. This is not quite right here because actually the heel I, I need to to change um, the leg here of the stool but I'm not doing it now. I'm just drawing the foot a little better. And okay. Okay, guys, and as promised, I will show you a couple of. Um, Rehearsals I've done with that particular pose. I'll be back in a second. So, as you can see, I'm, I've been working on this pose for quite some time, and that's what I always do. I, I repeat, repeat, and repeat until I get 
the feeling for the pose and this is still not there where I want to be but it's it's getting there and here you can see I was timing a little this one is I think is only five six minutes this one is even a little faster so just to trying to get um, the information on the paper and I understand what's going on with the pose this is a kind of an analytical process so I know what the ribcage is, rib cage is doing the relation to um, the pelvis what are the legs doing checking out the ankles all in a quite gestural, playful way. Again, another one, and it goes on and on. And these are the last. Two. So I hope, guys, you you got something out of the tutorial. If you liked what you see, don't forget like and subscribe. And I see you in the next tutorial. Take care and keep drawing. Bye.